In today's video, I'm going to tell you 10 things you need to know about Medina, Ohio. <music> guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Patty Renaud with Patty Sells CLE and I make videos about all things Cleveland and Northeast Ohio. If you don't want to miss any of my videos, you know what to do. Hit the bell, hit the subscribe, all that good stuff. Uh, I get calls from people almost every day. Um, I've been doing these videos for over a year and it's really been taking off and I love hearing from people all over the country. Uh, so I get calls they want to work by investment properties. They're getting relocated. They just want to move um, out of really expensive cities like California, gosh, even Idaho, crazy. So if you're looking to move to the Cleveland area or if you're from Cleveland and just keep watching my videos because they're so entertaining uh, and you need help finding the right home for you, my contact info is there. Give me a call. Uh, people are shocked when I answer the phone. They're like, oh my gosh, you actually answered. Yep, this is what I do for a living. I love it. I'm passionate about it. So get in touch with me. I'm here to help. Okay, today, 10 things about Medina, what you need to know. Um, if you've watched any of my videos, I am a Cleveland girl. I was born and raised in the West Park area, lived in Lakewood, raised my kids in North Olmstead, those inner ring suburbs. So um, have I been to Medina? Of course. My office is in Medina. I don't go there very often because it is kind of a hike for me. Now that I live out in the Amherst area, which um, I kind of feel like Amherst is to downtown Cleveland as Medina is. The Medina is south. Amherst is west as Medina is south and then Mentor is east. That's how I kind of feel the distances. Um, so let's start with the first thing you need to know. Where is Medina? Medina is south. It's about 33 miles south of downtown Cleveland. And when I put in MapQuest, I picked a random spot in downtown Cleveland and I picked a random, I picked Cool Beans in the square, in Medina Square. And it says it's a 40 minute, it's about a 40 minute drive to get from point A to point B. So that's pretty comparable. I actually, for where I live, I can get to downtown Cleveland in 30, 35 minutes. So right around the same amount of time. Um, how do you get to Medina? From downtown, you're gonna take I-71. And that's the big highway that takes you all the way down to Florida. So I-71, you get off at uh, Ohio 3. And here's why it takes a little bit longer. Because if you're going to the square, the square is not right off the highway. It's about six miles out. So you get off the highway, you still have a good 10 minute drive. Uh, where I live, I'm right off the highway and that makes such a difference, but that's just what Medina is. It's six, six miles further west off I-71. So what else can I tell you? Number two, what do you need to know about, I got my notes here, got lots of notes. Population, how many people live in Medina? About 25, 26,000 people um, living in Medina. We don't have the 2020 census numbers yet. Um, so that was from the 2010 census. I would think that it's higher now because there's a lot of new construction. One of the websites I looked at, they said that the, whatever they got their number from, they averaged about 26,000. I was surprised it was that low. I would think it would be much higher. So about 25,000 people in Medina. And remember my last video, Brunswick. Brunswick's the largest city in Medina County. I would think that Medina would be, but it's not. So, 25,000 people. Okay, third thing. People always want to know what the schools are like. Uh, Medina actually, depending on where you live in Medina, you could be part of the Medina City Schools or the Buckeye Local Schools. The Medina Schools uh, have about 6,700 students and the Buckeye Local Schools have about 2,300 students. The report card rating, everybody wants to know, and I say in every video, you know, you gotta take that report card rating kind of with a grain of salt. A good teacher is a good teacher, and every district has great teachers. Uh, Medina local schools do fare better. They have a B rating, and Buckeye local schools have a C rating. Being so large, the Medina schools, they have four elementary buildings, one middle school, and the high school. And Buckeye Local Schools, it's just got one building. It's got one preschool building, one primary building, an intermediate building, a junior high, 
and the high school. If you want to know the difference between junior high and a middle school, I can tell you because I was a teacher. Uh, number four, attractions. Why would people go to Medina? Believe it or not, people go to visit Medina. Believe it or not. Uh, one of the attractions is Medina Square, actually. And as I was doing my little research for this video, it's got a lot of history. And I've always loved Medina Square. These beautiful Victorian buildings, and you can just walk around it. It's got all these shops and restaurants. My office is in the basement of one of those uh it's almost like a, an, a, almost like an arcade. It's got like the different little shops and like there's a bakery in front, a jewelry store, a furniture store, and you go down the steps and there's office. Here's the history about it. Um, back in the 1800s, they had two disastrous fires and they did not have fire trucks. They had no fire hoses. They had a bucket brigade. And you would think after the first fire that they would say, hey, and all the buildings were damaged, no casualties, luckily. But after that fire, they still didn't do anything. And a few years later, they have another huge fire and have, all they had was a bucket brigade. Crazy, and I think they had some casualties that time. So now this town's just burnt to the ground and they started building it back up and it took about 10 years to rebuild it, um, but the way they built it, it was in the 1870s they were building it, and that was the style, these Victorian buildings, and that's what's present today, and it's so stately looking. You could just, yeah, I enjoy going down to Medina just because the square. I just want to walk around and go to all the shops, and it's a really large square, so that is a, one of the big draws to Medina County. Uh, another attraction is the Root Candle Company. Uh, Root Candle's been around since 1869, and it's a very upscale candle. Um, a friend of mine, her husband was like, was he the CEO of it for a while? I uh, don't they live in Medina. But uh, Root Candles, that's awesome. Been there since the 1800s, had no idea. Also, another attraction, Castle Noel. It is America's largest indoor year-round Christmas attraction. I've always wanted to go. My kids were younger, but we never did because I don't know why. Um, but they also have the world's largest privately owned collection of Hollywood Christmas movie props and costumes for movies such as Elf, Grinch, the Santa Claus movies, and, and more. So they've been closed this past year because of the pandemic. But I think I saw that they just opened last week for the Easter weekend. So that's good. So some other attractions they have. If you live in Medina, there's not a shortage of things to do. They got mini golf, indoor go indoor go karting. There's a historic neighborhood, obviously of um, bowling, but there's lots of golf courses. Um, I don't know if you noticed Brunswick in my Brunswick video. There's lots of hills, like Maple Sides on top of this hill. So um, Medina has some nice hills, which in the Cle Northeast Ohio area we're flat. So to be in an area where you have hills, um, it's kind of nice and it makes it, you know, nice scenery. Lake Medina. I didn't know there was a big lake and I would, if I would have, I would have gone there. So this is new to me. So all my Medina friends who are going to watch this video, please don't comment that I should have done more homework because I'm sorry. I'm doing my best. <laughs> lake Medina. It's man-made. It was made, it was built in the 60s because they needed more water supply. So it was a man-made lake. And then I guess, I don't know, a few years after that, I don't remember one in the 90s, I think, they had other ways of getting water. So they decided to turn it into a park. Um, and it's between Route 18 and Granger Road, just west of 71. So, and the parks took it over. You can have hiking, fishing, biking, canoeing. So that's really nice. The pictures look absolutely gorgeous. I, would, I wish I would have known about that. I would have driven by it. Um, okay, accommodations. So people do like to go to Medina. They have a lot of antique markets. They have the square. Um, so there's things to see and do. It's uh, also close to Akron, close to Cleveland. So it's kind of in the middle. So they have all kinds of Airbnbs. They have a bread and breakfast and all your major hotel chains really close to, to the downtown area. And what most of you came here for, the last thing I always like to talk about, because I'm a real estate agent, is the housing. And 
most of my videos focus on houses for sale. So I was shocked. As of today, there are 40, 42 homes that are either coming on the market soon or actively for sale. There are nine that are coming soon in the next couple days. Today's Thursday, so they're probably coming on over the weekend. And the rest are all active. And the prices range from 59, which is probably um, 59. There's two, three, two for 59,000. They're just a little, oh, they're trailer homes. They're park models. So that's cute. That's about right. It's a park, oh, and it's nice. Oh man, that's a really nice park model. I like it. So they range from 59 up to one point one and a half million dollars and everywhere in between you know you got one at 949 uh most of them range in the 350s to the 400s so that's if you're looking for the newer construction that's right around where you're going to be and that's pretty consistent with um like brunswick um i can't say avon because avon's more expensive but that's pretty consistent. So for four, let's see, let's just pick. For 436.9, you're gonna get, it's a three bedroom, 4,200 square feet. It's a ranch cluster, which is kind of weird. It's weird looking from, I don't think I drove by this one. Um, let's see, how about 572? 572, you're gonna five bedroom, but it's only 1,800 square feet, but it is, it's a, Madonna, it's a Victorian in the township, and it's on two acres, so you're buying land. So uh, another cool thing about Medina is while you do have lots of new developments, and that's what you expect because people, when they move out further from the city, they want to build new homes. So you're going to have that. I have a few friends that live in Shell Creek, which is on a golf course, and they have a newer home, and they can ride their golf carts around in their neighborhood, which is kind of cool. But you also have because it what was what were these places before it was farmland so you still have some rural areas you can get lots of land you still have those all those neighborhoods closer to this to the downtown area all the homes in the downtown area close to the square they're so nice there's some beautiful victorians they're gorgeous um, a lot of them have been converted into offices, but there's still plenty of single single homes that are gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. So let's get in the car and let's check out Medina.